بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello guys uh, Last week we uh, we described what management is and uh, we described what an organization is and uh, where do managers work and uh, the importance of, uh, of being a manager why we need managers we talked about uh, resources we entertained a lot of ideas about management today we are going to uh, continue and uh, the first thing we're going to know about uh, when do we consider managers as successful managers managers are considered as uh, successful and their organizations uh, effective organizations when they succeed to uh, to make value to create value for their uh, stakeholders and we uh, during the lecture the uh, in-house lecture as a lecture room we explain that they have to create value for their stakeholders however we have to uh, to know that if uh, managers are not managing resources in an efficient way then there is there will just no be way for them to uh, to uh, to uh, to be able to uh, to create value in any way because uh, if they're not efficient then the cost of making uh, goods or uh, services will be extremely high and when it is high then customers are not gonna buy and we are not gonna make a lot of profit so I'm not gonna use the profit to create value for for customers so uh, efficiency is doing things right and as we're gonna know we have to use the resources without waste without scrap without uh, uh, defective products so we have to utilize the resources without wasting any of them and effectiveness they reflect doing the right things attaining organizational goals and eventually being able to create value for our stakeholders and as you can see in this figure Managers have to lower waste in order to use the uh, resources in the best way and this will be their means of uh, achieving effectiveness of being successful and being able to uh, sell their products and, and generate profit and they use the profit to create the value which we talked about. So. Uh, Managers have to strive for uh, for uh, reducing the waste and, and attain the organizational goals, which which involve making profits and eventually uh, being able to create value for the customers and stakeholders in general. And as we explained in the real lecture, the face-to-face -face lecture, that managers actually manage resources and in order to be able to manage those resources managers must appreciate the kind of resources they have they have to be able to evaluate the resources at hand in order to be able to uh, know what they can do with them what they cannot do with them and when they start planning them they have to consider the uh, forces and the outside environment the factors which impact the management and usage of resources and once managers do that then they're gonna be able to start managing and when they start managing they have to uh, set uh, goals based on again based on the resources what the resources can and cannot help us to achieve when used that is in light of again the forces the impact the influences of the external environment and in doing that they decide on the goals and they also decide on the plans which reflect the steps we have to follow in order to uh, to achieve the goals and uh, once we decided the uh, goals and plans then we have to organize all activities all the tasks which have to be performed 
in order to initiate activities to produce to uh, to, uh, to market to finance the uh, the uh, the uh, resources and the activity resulting from deciding on on what goals to achieve and what should be done in order to achieve them so we have we have to arrange and structure and very similar not very similar identical to uh, how we describe the way organizations yet evolved. Later on, we start to uh, try to have a positive impact on our employees. We try to uh, direct them. We try to uh, motivate them. So uh, since people work together, we have to be good leaders and, and give them direction and inform them so they can work together to accomplish the goals. and. In doing so, we have to monitor what they do. We have to make sure that they are on the right track, that they are doing the right things, that they are performing their jobs the best way they can. Therefore, out of monitoring what they do, we can identify whether there are exceptions, whether they are drifting away from what was planned for them to, uh, to do and once we uh, or or immediately as soon as you find that there are deviation that they are drifting away from the right uh, direction then we make corrections so we put them back again on the right track and eventually they're gonna be able to perform their jobs and accomplish what was assigned to this table help you identify in a neat and nifty way quickly uh, what each of the managerial uh, tasks entails uh, doing and and just remember we said before that we said before that the managerial tasks reflect the managerial job and we may also call them the managerial processes and and so important for managers to uh, to uh, enact to uh, to uh, work on all the four managerial processes which make up the job for managers in order to be able to perform work on the managerial tasks there are 10 roles which they have to uh, to play in order to uh, perform their job effectively and these uh, roles the 10 roles are classified into three groups of roles and uh, they are the interpersonal roles the informational roles and the decisional roles the interpersonal roles involve managers performing their uh, role of being the big boss so whenever there are ceremonial events, of course managers would uh, would attend them because they are the figurehead of the of their work unit. Whether that work unit is the company, uh, the department, or a group inside a department, and also managers must play the role of the leader. After all, if managers are not leaders, at the same time, if they are not able to play the role of the leader, then they would be considered as just administrators, not managers. Managers should be ad administrators and also good leaders in order to be effective, in order to be successful leaders. But they also have to play the role of the liaison, which involves connecting those outside of the organization, outside of the company, with those inside the company and vice versa. Managers also have to play important information roles. If there are disasters, problems, whatever, scandals, which uh, took place inside the company, they are the ones who are supposed to uh, come out and and brief the public, tell the public about what happened and explain it. So they have to play the role of the spokesperson. They also have to monitor the environment. They have to monitor all the events inside the company in order to be able to collect information. 
and the collection of information is so important for managers otherwise there are not no way that they're gonna be able to uh, to make decisions or strategies and since managers are like the uh, store of information they collect it after all so they have it they are supposed to be the ones who disseminate information so they have to play that role too also managers must play the role of the entrepreneur they have to make decisions regarding how to uh, create more products more uh, services and in doing that they have to be able to accept the risk of uh, not uh, not succeeding but however entrepreneurs are very jealous very zealous also regarding proving that the ideas are, are, are right and they mostly are right and they are based on on information based on experience based on motivation to uh, to uh, to succeed so they have to make decisions regarding initiating new projects developing new products and the like also whenever there are disturbances whenever there are conflicts whenever there are uh, grievances whenever there are disturbances in, in, in general they have to uh, play the role of the disturbance handler also we said that managers manage resources so since they are the ones who manage the resources then they should play the role of knowing how to allocate resources so they play the role of the resource allocator also when they sign contracts after all they have to uh, they have to uh, decide on what terms, what conditions, contracts should uh, should uh, should have should uh, should contain. So they have to play the role of the negotiator. For managers to uh, to play the roles which help them perform their uh, tasks, the managerial job, then see they have to possess three very important managerial skills and they are the uh, conceptual skills human skills and technical skills and of course conceptual skills relate to pertain and 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 mean the uh, ability to think and conceptualize uh, things and put them in in abstraction in order to uh, have a coherent vision regarding how everything outside the organization impact everything inside the organization so uh, the conceptual skills remember are vital see they are important for all managers but vital for the strategic level management that is the top level management and human skills of course are, are vital and important to all managers technical skills technical skills are important also for all managers however technical skills are so very vitally important for the lower level managers the supervisors because they, they supervise the real work so when it comes down to uh, technological uh, technical uh, problems and workers need guidance supervisors must be very skilled at technical skills in order to advise them in order to direct them in order to uh, let them know how to fix problems how to use machines and 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 work well on the tasks the technical tasks assigned to them this figure explain what we uh, just said about the importance of um, the managerial skills for all uh, managers and how vital conceptual skills are for the top level management and 
technical skills for the lower level manager. It's very important to know that uh, due to and in response to the uh, massive changes with the business world is uh, witnessing and facing and experiencing at the same time there are so many emerging important skills which managers need to uh, to know about and possess and master like like uh, the importance of inspiring uh, commitment like the constant the continuous need for managing change because the whole world changes at, at, at a, a, a very uh, fast pace also the idea of the human capital psychological capital and stuff like that you know and the importance of being talented at managing it see there are a lot of skills which are so very and becoming even vital for managers to uh, possess in order to be able to manage and interact with business today this figure gives us uh, like a brief idea about what's going on out there, what changes are taking place, what uh, challenges are facing managers today in the uh, new world of uh, digitalization. Now that we have uh, a digitalized economy, uh, the digital economy is coupled with uh, changing uh, technology which allowed for the uh, digitalization of, uh, of the workplace and uh, we also are facing an increased emphasis on organizational and, and managerial ethics it became so very important business eth ethics should be upheld by by all managers and employees also in that regard after all employees interact with uh, with customers and they have to be so very ethical in doing that not only their companies but they too and and in light of the increased competitiveness competition became became a very important vital factors for managers to consider and they have to overcome their competition in order to be uh, successful in order to be uh, effective and and of course so of course there uh, there are so many different needs for to cope up with the so many different security threats which which change all the time uh, so we have to handle uh, uh, risk management we have to uh, be so very careful because there is a high level of uncertainty over uh, future energy uh, sources and prices and and also the supply of water which will uh, have a drastic impact on anything on everything and the uh, forces for which pushes all companies to uh, to uh, globalize and and involve in it and and also uh, the uh, uncertainty over economic uh, climate in general and and during the past few years we witnessed a lot of economic disturbances almost everywhere around the world among the important factors which which are vital for business companies which uh, have an impact on them and, and influence how work is done and how managers think is the importance of customers of course and and remember customers are among the important stakeholders for any business company well the reason that organizations exist simply because of, of customers if there are no customers then there will be making products and, and offering services will be meaningless and and managing customer relationships is so uh, very important and there are a lot of ways as you're gonna study in marketing through which we can 
build and maintain effective customer relationships. The social media, the evolving power of the so social media should be appreciated by managers. The uh, electronic communication is uh, becoming vital for their, uh, their work, for the business organizations in general. Uh, through it, managers and uh, uh, business organizations in general can create online communities to share ideas, information, personal messages, and, and also use the social media. And, and you guys are able uh, to, uh, to uh, identify the fact that the social media now is being used as an excellent a very strong marketing tool innovation is is becoming it has been but now it's more important and and massively vital for uh, for companies to uh, consider if they are to uh, exist in the business arena they have to uh, always innovate what they do innovate their products uh, come up with uh, new ideas for how to serve uh, customers and and do things explore new uh, territorial uh, areas where where they can uh, do business where they can uh, reach to uh, new customers and 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 how to do things in a different way uh, in different lights and 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 take risks Managers should also encourage the employees to uh, to act on uh, emerging opportunities which needs to uh, be responsive to them in an innovative way. The idea of uh, sustainability has become so very important. Business companies have to uh, look for ways and 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 uh, work hard in order to achieve uh, their business their uh, uh, company goals and increase long-term shareholder value they have to consider in doing that they have to consider consider the economic environmental and, and social opportunities and integrate them into their business strategies in order to succeed now we come down to an important question why study management why is it important why should we bother about it see whatever you guys gonna 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 work whenever you uh, graduate from college you're gonna find that you uh, need the managerial uh, knowledge because it's 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 everywhere around us in all types and sizes of organizations at, at whatever levels you may be uh, working uh, at, whether it is top level management, what's, uh, whether it is managerial jobs, and even whether you are going to be an employee manager by a manager, you have to be able to understand what your manager is doing. And when it is time for you to manage, you have to know how to, how, how to do it, how to manage. So uh, studying management is is vital to succeed in the workplace nowadays the managerial job imposes and 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 put a lot of uh, pressure and strain on managers because sometimes they uh, they get no thanks <laughs> so their job can be a thankless job and and also they uh, they uh, they may may work on uh, clerical clerical type of uh, duties and uh, knowing that they spend a lot a lot of time in meetings dealing with the interruptions will tell us how much pressure they and and stress they uh, may be under all the time there are a lot of challenges of being a manager and if we say that managers uh, face many many challenges of being uh, a manager they have to pay uh, a price for that 
we should also say that there are a lot of rewards which managers uh, gain and and actually can feel just imagine that you are responsible about creating a productive work environment that you contribute to the well-being of the society in general and and you may enjoy most 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 of the managers do enjoy attractive compensation in the form of salaries bonuses and stock options so uh, actually you will enjoy being a manager because of the rewards which uh, accompany being a manager i elected to uh, uh, present you with that uh, table because it gives you a neat and nifty way uh, which uh, show in a precise way the kind of rewards and challenges which uh, uh, being a manager will uh, will experience so uh, read it and and enjoy it and um, until next week stay safe